delusional cop panics over acorn falling. This video is blowing up on Twitter right now because it is just absurd. It's going to make a lot of people rightfully upset knowing this is a cop and he almost executed a man over mistaking the sound of an acorn falling for a gunshot. He hears a noise and this noise startles him. It's like a dog on 4th of July hearing a firework in the distance and he panics, freaks out and does a double combat roll true combo. This man was looking for iframes, and it turns out that sound he heard that he mistook for a gunshot was the sound of an acorn hitting the top of his patrol car. Just fired! Just fired! <laughs> it didn't even sound like a gunshot. Top of his patrol car. Oh my god, bro. This is like that. Yo, people, the police in the United States need to have longer training times. Like, the, the amount of training hours that you have to go through in the United States is so much less than, like, almost any other country. Like, dude, this man just thought it, it I'm pretty sure he starts shooting it. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! You know. What you is he shooting at? That's a real gun. You can't even hear anything in the body cam footage. I don't even hear an acorn falling. This guy must have the most. No, nah, I heard like a little ears of all time. This guy can fucking hear the future, I guess, or something. Oh so my he God. Here's an acorn fall somehow. And then he immediately does this uh, like combat role action movie stunt and unloads, just mag dumps into his patrol car with that individual inside. Now, luckily, the individual wasn't killed during this panic because this skittish douchebag has stormtrooper aim, luckily. so Oh, they got out of whatever the fuck they got arrested for. Oh, 100%. You get arrested and the cop unloads his clip into your car? Yeah, you're, you're scot-free. You're walking home that night. Jesus, dude. Gets to live to see another day. An acorn almost fucking sent him to the grave. <laughs> Bro, he just said I'm hit. <laughs> this guy needs to get fired. Oh my god, he just said I'm hit. I'm in, I think I'm bleeding out. What? Just didn't get didn't get hit at all. He looks like he's in the nicest residential neighborhood. The officer's fighting ghosts. He is actually fighting his own imagination right now. He thinks he got shot. There was no shooting. It was a fucking acorn. The only thing shot is this man's brain. It is rotted from the inside out. He's like, I've been shot. And then he goes, <laughs> like he's doing the fucking Murloc sound effect from Hearthstone. It's, it's all make-believe. And SpongeBob and Patrick in their box couldn't drum up an imagination like this. But there's a very real person in harm's way that he is shooting at over nothing. So he's lying on the ground. I've been hit. <laughs> Fucking continuing to pump lead into this vehicle on this guy who has done nothing to shoot at the officer or put the officer in harm's way. It's it's infuriating to watch. What kind of train? Yo, but that guy, yo, thank God that guy's safe. He about to get a fucking bag. That that guy that was in that car that fucking thank God lived. Oh my God. You have a cop empty a mag at you and you don't even have a weapon on you. Oh, they're fucking done. Meaning did this officer go through? Because there's no way he should have ever been cleared for duty if he is this frightened by his own shadow. Then he starts like- Bro, hit the lotto? No, that's not hitting the lotto. Hitting the lotto is like when, like before they had caution hot. This is what hitting the lotto is. Before they had caution hot labels on fast food coffee, there were a few people that like spilled hot coffee on their genitals and then sued like McDonald's for, and, and like all these other companies for like millions of dollars. That's hitting the lotto, right? Being so dumb that you spill fucking hot coffee on your fucking dick and then you have to go, oh, uh, how was I supposed to know the hot coffee I ordered was hot? And then you sue, right? That's hitting the lotto. Rugrats Tommy Pickles crawling away, going like, oh, no, 
you know, really going through it thinking he's been shot. I, I gotta see my family again. Not like this. I won't go out like this. No. Why do you not watch the actual video? Why of him reacting? I don't know where the actual video is. Is there an actual, is there, is this, is it not just clips? Is there like an actual YouTube video of it? I might have hit my. <laughs> no, they, they do have, they do have an actual video. Hold up. You like that? But he's sending me a picture. Florida deputies shoot an unarmed man after mistaking falling acorn for gunshot. With um, okay. Do you know your tag number? What? What? Where? Right there? What a dumbass cop! Shots fired, but he's just laying on the ground. Yo, is that this cop's fault though? Like, I I feel like this second cop isn't in the wrong. Because if your other officer that you think is a coherent individual is like, there's actually like a shooting right now, I feel like you're going to be like, okay, yeah, like you're, you're going to need to, you know, like lock in. Jesse, Jesse, are you okay? Get in the house. Get in the house. Jesse, get back, get back. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> he's growing away like he's a toddler. Jesse. He's in the car. Get back, get back. Where is he? Where is he? Dude, you can hear the people behind like, don't shoot him. 43, give me traffic. Shots fired. Shots fired. I got a deputy down. I'd be saying he doesn't have a weapon. This got to be a comedy sketch? No, this is the state of Florida. Off of McLaren, we're off of McLaren, shots fired, I got a deputy down. Jesse, how are you? No. No. Oh my god, no, the woman in the back though, I understand her emotion, but I would be like, He doesn't have a gun! Your officer's fucking stupid! I'd be screaming, she's not paying attention, I'd get her to fucking hear me. I'd say, He doesn't have a gun! Oh my god, yo, this is actually making me mad, though. Not the woman, this is making me mad that these cops aren't listening to her. This woman that's crying, thinking they just killed their fucking, like, her husband or boyfriend or whoever. Okay. Brother. Please. No. Stand by. Pet. No. Back. Help Stay inside your house, stay. Then you move me up right there. Oh, yeah, I feel like he's gonna start acting it out, you know? He can't, I feel like he's realizing he wasn't shot, and so now he has to just be like, okay, well, let me, let me play up the scenario a little bit. Oh, fuck, I just emptied 20, I just emptied 20 rounds into a car. Yeah. Do you see anything? I want to hit. I need to see the aftermath of the cop being like, oh, fuck. Oh, Just this is fire. him. This is this is him. I feel weird, but I'm good. I feel weird, but I'm good. I don't know. I'll stay. Yes, yeah, stay inside your house. Yeah, he should get fired. Yeah, he should get fired. I don't think the I don't I don't know about the woman. I think the woman was just kind of playing off of him because if your if your fellow officer is acting like they're literally dying, like you're gonna you're gonna take he was fired. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? They don't fucking play. They don't play any more out. See, now I got to fast forward in Charlie's video. I feel like this motherfucker got more. Oh, just... <laughs> Acorn full. Oh. Bang, bang, bang. Oh. And then like capsizes and falls over on the road there. And then he just starts crawling away. Oh. 
good lord. That's so frustrating to know that there's an officer out there, or was an officer out there like this, who can somehow hear an acorn fall and be like, Shit, we're in a battleground! It's popping off, everyone! Shoot at my car, quick! And uh, what... <laughs> Is there any gun that would make even remotely the softest sound of an acorn falling onto a metal roof? Like, it would be loud, but a gunshot is fucking really loud. Like, that's not, like, even a pistol. Maybe if I had a silencer, but if you, you wouldn't fuck, yeah, a silenced pistol, but it would, a silenced pistol isn't even going to sound like an acorn falling, right? It's going to be like, doot, 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 doot. I can't. I can't recreate the sound of a silencer, but you know what I mean. Freaked what do you out. even do when the dust settles and you realize, oh, th that guy in the car never had a gun, never shot back. Oh, wait. Oh, buddy, I'm so sorry. It looks like it was an acorn that hit the cop car. I didn't... I'm so sorry we shot at you for fucking 19 bullets in a row. Yeah, what What a whoops-a-daisy moment. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just so silly. Anyway, let's uh, let's head to the station. Also, we're going to add an extra charge there for putting me into a state of frenzy. That's that's going to be on you. If we didn't have to get called out here in the first place, I wouldn't have had to hear an acorn fall and freak out. So uh, that's going to be an additional charge. Like, what do you even do from there? There's nothing you can do from there. You almost killed this guy because you, yeah. you have superhuman hearing and thought for some reason an acorn was a threat to your life. I love this section too. Okay, Interviewed after is. the incident by Michael Hogan, an investigator, the deputy said he definitely heard a suppressed weapon firing. I felt an impact on my right side, like upper torso area. My legs just give out, he claimed. When shown images from you his- You might have had a fuck- You might have coincidentally had a fucking stroke. Or some shit. Dude, what? <laughs> I felt an impact on my right side. Like my upper torso area. My legs just give out. Yeah, you might have a muscle twinge. Body cam footage of the acorn hitting his car. Mr. Hernandez- You're gonna feel a gunshot. Pre-adrenaline, pre you're gonna feel getting shot. Like, that's not- You're just like, oh, it was kind of hurt a little bit. Acorn? And Mr. Hogan confirmed, acorn. It's like a fucking skit out of a cartoon, except it's real life and almost cost someone their life. Almost just killed this guy- over this fucking- If he k actually had killed the guy, it would have been so much worse. Weirdo thinking an acorn was a suppressed weapon. Questioned if he could have mistaken the sound of an acorn for gun up, gunfire. He answered, what I heard sounded what I think would be louder than an acorn hitting the roof of the car. But there's obviously an acorn hitting the roof of the car. Oh my god. What the fuck? There's gotta be some better training. There's gotta be, right? Like, is this, like, a course they're going to have to take now? Like, distinguishing gunshots from acorns? Yo, you know how many lawyers probably reached out to that family after? Like, I could get you financial compensation. Please, please, I'll defend you for free. I'm only going to take, I'm only going to take a certain percentage of the winnings. No, please, we're going to be suing for $10 million right now. Just, like, did the amount of the, you ever see, like, those law commercials? Like, those local lawyer firms that are, like, trying to, like, pan for you? Like, if you if you drank pesticide in the nineties, you're entitled to compensation. If you used if you used fucking this and this, or you slip and fell at your fucking union job, you're entitled to like that shit. The fucking acorn fell on the car that they were in. Scary stuff. Uh Mr. Hernandez did resign. Hopefully it won't ever have a firearm to their name again because they are not safe with one clearly, if they're willing to just discharge it upon hearing an acorn. But yeah, I just had to share this a bit because, man, that is some silly shit right there. Luckily, he probably got just, uh, not like, fired, but I doubt he went to prison. If he was in a different state, I feel like it'd be different. But Florida, if he was a civilian, it'd be way different. If he was a civilian and he emptied a fucking mag in, into somebody's car, oh yeah, you'd be in fucking prison for attempted murder. Uh, or some shit like that.